Good morning, guys. Welcome to episode 12 of the Team Apex Olympia Training Camp. Um, I'm just having my pre-workout meal right now. It's a quarter cup of oats with uh, some protein powder, tea, quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, I cook the oats first, and then I mix in the protein powder. And this is my favorite meal. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna eat this and then train some chest. Uh, my intra, or sorry, not my intra, my pre-workout is a little different today. I'm just doing hydraulic, two scoops um, of the icy flavor. It literally tastes like the, like the, like icy shavings, whatever it is. I love it. Um, I'm not doing stims right now because I'm just kind of overstimmed with the coffee I drink in the morning and my fat burner I take uh, pre-cardio. You guys know, I think I've showed you in my videos before that I'm taking uh, Axe and Sludge double time. So there's, you know, a bunch of natural fat burning ingredients in here, like green tea extract. Um, and then we got some caffeine in there. So I take two caps fasted uh, and do my cardio. This uh, definitely kicks my ass. <laughs> so I don't need any more stims, I'm good for that. So I'm just doing the pump today. Um, feeling really good. Uh, we're nine weeks, four days out and everything's just kind of coming together. Uh, we're getting good good photos in the gym, um, feeling still really good, like with the low calories, but I'm still getting like the littlest bit of carbs. So yeah, it's, it's good, I'm really positive about everything. Uh, had a good night's sleep, so that's always good. <laughs> Got Leo sleeping right here. He still hasn't woke up. You gonna do something today? Oh, this guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna hit the gym now, so we'll catch you guys there in a little bit. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Okay guys, good morning. I just got out of the shower and um, this was a poll that I put on my Instagram. Um, if you guys wanted to see like my five minute like makeup kind of not tutorial but like just ha like how I put my makeup on for like everyday life and uh, specifically like when I go to the gym. Um, so as you can tell I have like crazy curly hair. And we're just gonna start with the hair first and then quickly throw on a little bit of makeup and I promise this is gonna be like under five minutes. So for the guys that watch my channel, I'm sorry I'm doing this to you, but just fast forward this because we're gonna be less than five minutes. So I'm gonna start uh, a five minute timer on my phone. Boom, okay, let's do this and then I'll talk. Um, so for my hair, I like to use a leave-in conditioner, it's a 10 and I just spray that in my wet head. And then I use this Moroccan oil for like the ends. So I do like one pump of that. The key with Moroccan oil is you're supposed to like rub it in and like heat it up. So I like to just kind of throw it on the ends of my hair there and in the baby hairs. Now we're gonna do my famous space buns. I see a lot of girls doing it now, but they don't do it like Missy Trescott. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. I use like a detangler brush. And honestly guys, I hate brushing my hair. Like it's one of my least favorite things to do. And we're going with the Halloween scrunchies today. So the key to slick your hair back is this Shine Jam. You can get off Amazon. This is the stuff I use like when I actually braid my hair. So I just like lightly brush my hair back here. And then I use this. And then I basically just like slick it up like that. And I like to do my buns a little high. So instead of pulling the hair all the way through, I just go like that, do like a little like bun, and then you got this like leftover hair. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Sorry, Athena's downstairs barking. And if you didn't want it to look like this neat, you wouldn't have to like use the shine gel. Sorry, not shine gel, shine jam. And then same thing, we're not pulling the hair all the way through, we're just right like that, boop. So you have two little half foot pickies. Now what I like to do is I take this hair and I go, I just kind of like fluff it up into the bun and then I just wrap my scrunchie around it. And these like colored scrunchies, I just got off of Amazon. There's a bunch of different colors. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. Boom. And your buns aren't gonna be the same. It's like eyebrows. They're just, they never look the same. You can't match them, who cares? Go on with your day. Okay, so boom, hair's done. That took a little under three minutes. And now for my face, this is gonna be really quick. We might go over five minutes, guys, but whatever. So this is the JLo, like, uh, I don't even, the Blockbuster morning like hydration. So I just like to put it on my face before I, do my makeup.
And then for my foundation, like I'm not, I don't want it to be super heavy. Like I know um, some of my like daily videos on like YouTube, I go like a little heavier with the makeup, but today I, I don't want to. So I'm using this, um, it's called Ease Drop from Fenty Beauty. And this shade is 11. So what I like to do is I have this like kind of flat brush and I'll put the Fenty primer on it first. Okay, so the timer went, unfortunately, we went over the five minutes, but hair takes a little longer. <laughs> so I do a couple pumps on here. This is just like a moisturizer primer. And this is gonna let the makeup not like go cakey in your pores. So I do recommend putting this on even if you are just doing like a light kind of day look. So from there, I take the uh, Fenty Ease Drop and I just kind of put it on my face. And then I use the brush and I kind of press it in first, especially on like zits and stuff. And then I start to like brush it out. And it's not like a, a heavy foundation. It's really lightweight. So I lied, this video is probably gonna be like 10 minutes. So now that we've got the foundation all blended in, you can kind of see that my face looks like wet. So to get that away, you just take like a big puffy brush and I'm using, you guys obviously know I like Fenty. <laughs> so I'm using the Fenty Banana um, Loose Powder and it's pretty light, so just tap your brush on it and then just tap this all over your face and this kind of sets the foundation. I've changed up my blush. I got like this kind of orangish, um, peachy color. I usually do pink, but I, I don't know. I, I've been feeling this like new kind of um, palette. So when I put on blush, I kind of give like a little like smile to get my cheeks up. And then I just like brush up in that area. I am not a makeup artist. Do what you want. I'm just showing you what I do. <laughs> and I put a little on the nose there. And then with the same brush I used for like the setting foundation, I'll use my bronzer. And then we're gonna do little eyebrows. Super, super chill day, guys. So like, I'm not going crazy with these things. So I just like to brush them up. And this is the 
Revlon Color Stay. Just like a cheapy one. I think I ordered it off of Amazon, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm not too concerned about making these look like super sharp. I just kind of want to fill them in a bit. Oh. You don't have to do this step. Now, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to add some highlighter. This is called What a Brat. Again, Fenty Beauty. This one's actually really hard to find. I think it's only at um, Sephora. Like, they don't have it at... Uh, like, it's a Sephora exclusive or whatever. Okay, and then a little bit of mascara. This mascara is the Voluminous Superstar and it's Remmel. Um, I like literally have no eyelashes. So I always like to get this one. I've been using this for like over a decade. Um, I've tried like really expensive ones, but this drugstore one works the best for me. Okay, got our mascara on and now, so we don't look like The Walking Dead, we're gonna take our makeup wipe and then just take the foundation off of your lips. So, then I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss here. And then some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I ran out of the Fenty one. I like that one better than this. This smell is just meat, but. And then this is like Moroccan oil hair mist that I really like. I got off Amazon. The first time I bought it though, it came completely smashed. I was pissed. Um. But yeah, I, I like this. And it's travel size too. So you can put it in like your overnight bag. So this is the final look guys. My everyday gym makeup. It took about, I don't know, what would you say? 10 minutes or so. Um, so days where I like try not to spend too much time on my hair and makeup, I like to do the space buns. And um, this is just my quick little everyday makeup routine. But if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in the products or whatever, I can list them. But yeah, let me know guys. And uh, let's keep moving with the rest of this vlog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're on edibles. I know. We're not even high at the moment. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nerds. All right. Yeah. Go for it. Questions. Questions. Yeah. So we're going to do our little segment here because we know how much you guys enjoy it. Uh, so I took a couple screenshots from last week's video and we're going to go over some of these questions. So again, thank you guys for those of you who left some questions. Let's get into it. Do 
Can you explain on your next video in simple terms the difference in how you should look for physique, figure, and fitness? Been to many shows. In my opinion, figure is becoming more physique, and physique is becoming more bodybuilding. Would love to hear your views. Thanks. Great question. Um, so I definitely think, you know, as the sport kind of evolves as bodybuilding you know as we like up the level every year yeah i think you're right i think the the criteria kind of changes um especially if you look at figure girls from the early 2000s like nicole wilkins and uh i can't really think of anyone else right now candace keen those those women um they, they could not stand on a figure stage today like that their physique in the early 2000s they would get totally blown out of the water um, so yeah as for women's physique I know even like a lot of amateur girls um, they'll compete in physique at like a national show but then they'll also cross over into women's bodybuilding so there is like crazy like discrepancy with the physiques um, for me personally I try to bring my physique as if I was going in like a figure competition. So I want to make sure that like my ham tie-ins are really prevalent, that my back is hard, um, that I have like a dice midsection. Um, this year I want to have like striated legs, feathered legs on stage. So, you know. Every, as long as there's a distinction between the groups. Yeah. Like bikini is clearly different than figure. Yeah. Clearly is not clearly, but there is a distinction with physique uh, and then bodybuilding. So to me, because every sport like evolves. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not just bodybuilding. Like Arnold, who had a killer physique. Yeah. He couldn't even win. He was like an open bodybuilder. He couldn't even win classic. No. His legs would get smoked. Yeah. Right? Chris Bumstead, Terrence, all those guys would kill him. Yeah. Right? So sports just evolve. Or, like, uh, you know, offensive linemen 20 years ago in the NFL were like 230 pounds. Right. I'm 240 pounds. And I'm a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing in the NFL. So I don't know. It just it evolves. But as long as there's like a distinction, yeah. you know, don't get caught up in, yeah, the physiques keep getting better, better, bigger, harder. Yeah, that's fucking pro sports. Yeah. Get a bunch of motivated driven people um yeah so it's probably keep evolving yeah so like for instance um i do online coaching so if i have a client who is a bikini competitor um i obviously know what the bikini criteria is so i try to tailor their physique to the division um and every year you know the mpc or ifbb will come out with like a new statement on what the criteria is what they're looking for so it doesn't doesn't really change that often it's more or less people just kind of coming in and changing it right yeah women's bikini as a complete like novice to bodybuilding shows right yeah. bikini is really hard to judge yeah one there's a ton of them yeah and, you know there's a couple that are like out of shape but between like one and five at every show is really hard to tell the difference yeah. like, like judges you have to be really good. Men's physique is that way. Yes. There's just so many of them. Yeah. And I mean, maybe one or two stand out, but then like three to 20 look almost identical, like to me, to a layman's eyes, you know? Yeah. Looks really perfect. Um, and then I don't understand. We don't, we do not want to get into this, but I don't know how fitness judging works. <laughs> I've had a lot of fitness shows. Uh, yeah, I think I'm too biased, but I've left just shaking my head a couple of times like <laughs> really uh, anyway we should move on okay um okay so next question love the new intro proper motivation right there question for next week what does a typical day look like for you guys are there any plans at all for matt to compete last but not least what's your best tips to move forward during injuries mentally and physically that's that's real shit right there. So what does a typical day look like for you guys? So I wake up early. Me, I'm easy. Uh, I wake up early, do cardio. Great way to start the day. 
uh, but I have to be done by the time the market opens or I just start to get anxious and rush it. Yeah. I like it to go slow. Market opens at 6.30 on the West Coast. Um, so, and then we train in the afternoon so that I work in between. Yeah. Go into the office two or three times a week. Um, still get to work at home then two or three times a week, which is awesome. Uh, so my schedule is easy. And then we've been trying to work out more together. Um, all We've always worked out, you know, like once or twice a week. Now we've been working out, you know, what, four or five times a week together. Yeah, it's a lot better, honestly. Yeah, just pushing each other. Um, yeah. So that, that's been really good. My yeah. schedule is easy, though. Plans to compete? No, no. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, we'll jump in right to that. Your day is more interesting uh, because this is a fitness channel. Um, no, I, I, I never, never say never. I will never compete. Uh, yeah. To me, bodybuilding makes me like a better financial advisor, better husband, better son, better, more confident person. I don't do it for the, I got enough stuff I'm competitive about. Yeah. It's not bodybuilding. So to me, it's just like a supplement, like a hobby. Uh, and I just, I love, a lot of things in life are outside your control. Yeah. You know, uh, bodybuilding is like completely in your control. And I like that. And that kind of ties it into the next question. Remember the one comment? <laughs> the one YouTube comment, which is funny. I don't care. Like, I don't judge myself based on like how, I, like people could take shots at me all they want. They said, uh, <laughs> it was a class. I couldn't think like being like a, like a, uh, like a pro physique person because I just can't I wouldn't want the shots but anyway um, they said the only you you had mentioned like you I think you even did clickbait like is Matt gonna compete oh yeah and, then someone, and someone said the only way Matt could compete is if you cut his head off and put it on Missy's body <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's like, damn, dude, That's you're fucking weird. savage. I'm not the one saying I was gonna compete. I'm thinking shot here. Like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Can you imagine my big ass. <laughs> you're like X taper would go completely away. Like, you have the best X taper in the world. You, and you put my big ass in. <laughs> like, damn, she needs bigger shoulders, right? Everyone talks about how big your shoulders are. Not of my big ass head was. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd be a Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why, people, some people, not you guys, but some people are like really obsessed with like my lips. Like, oh, we're off on this <laughs> now. Like, yeah. I don't understand. This is the new go to criticism. Yeah. Right? I don't like people like come at me, like leave comments on like Instagram and YouTube, like, your plastic surgeon needs to fix your lips and all. Well, first of all, lip injections are not plastic surgery. Number one. <laughs> number yeah. two, why do you care? You're not paying the bill for it. I am. And I like my lips. So. Yeah. This is like some, because they're always private accounts. True. Right? Like, this isn't like anybody who's got any type of life, but yeah. whatever. But, but, but like, dudes are shooting their asses with Jordan. <laughs> It looked like shit. Yeah. I fucking just roid it out. And, and then like, hey, why are you injecting? I mean, who cares? She yeah. likes to do it. Um, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I could post a picture when I was like in high school, whatever. I literally didn't have any lips. I look like a little minion with like, <laughs> just like big buck teeth. Like this I should. True. I've yeah. seen the pictures. Yeah. I should literally yeah. post a photo. Like I literally had like no lip. And to like, for me, like to feel confident on stage when I smile, yeah, I want to have like a bit of an upper lip. So like, what's the big deal? Like, I just, I don't understand. So anyways. There's things everyone, every guy, every girl does for vanity, right? Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, yeah. the one, like one person was like, trying to look black they took it like to a race card yeah like, like what the hell that was yeah. way out in left field that yeah. was that was odd yeah um yeah, but th you know those comments i just kind of like laugh it off and and delete them it's almost like the uh the comments like you look like a man and that stuff that used to really trigger me but now i'm just kind of like you got to be like a really like insecure upset miserable person to take five minutes out of your day to write that and put it on my page you know yeah like i feel bad for you 
blocked Lee. It's my favorite thing to do. It is people. a total. It's an act <laughs> one thousand percent. Because look, we've all not someone's lips, but we've all seen a picture on social media and thought to ourselves something not positive. Yeah. Right. Like that person looks like shit. That person has no leg. Right. Whatever. I don't sure. know whether it's bodybuilding, whether it's life. We've all had like a a moment. Um, to then to type it out. Yeah. Like you have to be a flawed, shitty. Like, angry person. Yeah. You know, like to, on a public forum. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's just crazy to me. But again, they're hiding behind a private account, so. Yes. Um, so let's go roll back to that question. Kind of got off topic. Yeah, that was, that was my bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's the best tips to move forward during injuries, mental and physical? The best tips to move forward. Hmm. Man, injuries suck. Injuries really suck. I don't know. What are the best ways? I mean, you got to get your mind right. Yeah. I feel like a lot of things that you can be in control of, like mentally, you got to flip that switch. You got to be able to like turn it on. Um, goes for anything in life. I'm shocked by how many people, and I'm somewhat guilty of this because I had, well, I tried and tried and tried and I just couldn't get it fixed. Um, well, if I had a bad elbow for like a, over a decade, I was dealing with elbow tendonitis, just couldn't get rid of it. Uh, tried everything in the world, couldn't get rid of it. Tell Miguel, a torture room. But yep. um, people like live with injuries way too long, mm. right? Like I know people would like bad this, bad that, yeah, bad this. I can't squat because of this. I can't do presses because of this. Fucking fix it. Yeah, I mean, people like procrastinate. They'd rather just deal with it forever as opposed to like the six to eight weeks of rehab. Right. Um, yeah, it's crazy. But I don't know mental. I don't know. I I don't have any mental tips. Um, because I'm down at the time to be like shit <laughs> when I have injuries. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's the worst. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, just like anything else, you got to one foot in front of the other. Yeah. Being like the things take that, that like can... mindset, take that mindset of like eating right and hitting the gym hard. Well, now it's eating right and rehabbing hard. Yeah. Depending on the injury. Um, but, yeah. Right. And sometimes maybe you you can't train or you can't you know, do the things you used to do because you're in that, like, limbo phase of, like, recovery. Um, and that's tough, too. That's mentally hard. Yeah. But you just got to know that, like, in a couple weeks, things are going to be better. You're going to benefit from it. Like, so just I'm be sure patient. There's, there's no absolutes, but I'm telling you. Yeah. Recovery, we're now, okay, I got whatever I needed to done, and now the path is in front of me is so much easier than every day dealing with an injury. Yeah. You know, I, think, I don't know why people just don't get shit fixed. Yeah. Um, okay, next question. How long do you rest between sets? Um, so right now, I'm kind of... We've been moving fast. Yeah, a little quicker now. Um, I go a lot faster when I'm training with you. Yeah, because, guys, I'm not eating... Well, today was a little different, but I'm really not eating a lot of food. So I got about, from my pre-workout meal... So the next time I got to eat, I got about two hours. So by the time I get to the gym, get warmed up, start lifting, it's like, okay, let's move, let's move. So I would say around like, what, a minute? Because you go, and yeah. then I, I'm right in, I'm in the seat next to go. So rest times aren't that long. When I'm in my off season though, we're there to work. You know, like it's like focus game time. Um, so we could take a two minute break. Um, yeah, I think, you know, you never want to be, I, I really try to stay away from my phone. Yeah. Um, so, because I do think that can turn a two-minute break into a 12-minute break. Yeah. You know, uh, if you get caught up on something. So, I do try to stay away from my phone when I'm working out. But um, I do tend to think, like, d I tend to think, don't overthink, don't overthink rest periods. Yeah. Take as much time as you need and go. Yeah. Because if it's like a, like your third set of cable curls who cares yeah but if it's your number one like fundamental exercise for the day you know it's like your heavy set of squats you know we always tell each other this is the most important fucking thing you're going to do today i yeah. tell missy this yeah um well, okay take a couple minutes yeah get your mind right it's like, like yeah. you want to be like max weight so there's pros and cons right if you go fast you get done faster you know everything else but if you wait longer you know you're unequivocally stronger mm -hmm. so yeah. Yep. So, uh, next question. 
Do you find your sleep gets messed up the deeper into prep you get? Or are you finding the gummies help with that? So I, I love the gummies, the Delta 8 Sour Bears, because I, I really feel like it puts me to sleep. Um, I've been starting to take them a little earlier now. So sorry, Athena's barking and I'm getting distracted. Um, I'll start to take them around like 6.30. I know it's early. Crazy. Yeah, yeah crazy. 6.30. So they start to hit me around 7.30, and I'm like ready for bed by like 8. Like I'm zombie mode, like, okay, let's get to bed. And then we're out by 9. Like yeah. out, out. Like, like TV's off and we're sleeping. Sleeping. Um, and so then I, but I don't know if this is the route. Sorry to interrupt, but I don't know if this is like, this is how we deal with it. Yeah. I don't think you can change the fact that whether it's cortisol or hormones, when you get dieting real hard. Yeah. You start waking up really fucking early. Oh yeah. Right. So that is just something in the human body. Yeah. Where I don't fully understand what that is. I think it's cortisol, but don't know. It's a, you start dieting. Once you start getting to that, where your body's really pushing back, you start getting up at like four thirty, five thirty, right? Yeah. Like super early. I'm up around like four thirty now, five ish. I probably get up like three times to pee in the middle of the night. That's hormones. That's like. Okay, my body's in like fight or flight mode. Like, wake up, it's time to pee because in the off season that doesn't happen. I don't even wake up to pee, and I still drink like six liters of water a day. Um, right now, obviously drinking like close to six to eight liters every day. Um, but yeah, I mean. So what we do? What my point was, if if the diet's going to kick you out of bed at five. Yeah. We just start going to bed early, right? You, you, we said, like, I don't know if this is hell. It works for us. Yeah. Uh, we just start going to bed earlier and earlier. So we used to be, like, go to bed at 10, get up at 6. Like, if we didn't, I'd get up a little earlier yeah. than you. But, I you would know, we would in. still get our seven, eight hours of sleep. Yeah. And it was from when I was dieting and now you're dieting. We have just pushed our, you know, so we still get our seven to eight hours. Yeah. But now we're asleep, you know, like lights out before nine. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it'll go back to normal. Simple yeah. to do. You yeah. got to get your sleep in. Yeah. Um, the Delta eight is crazy. I, I'm like, take it. It's a stopwatch. 60 minutes. I'm out. Yeah. Not, not 61 minutes. <laughs> like 60 <laughs> minutes and I am sleeping. Um, so yeah, I freaking, I love those things. It doesn't really make you fall asleep longer though. No. It doesn't help. So you just, but it, but it, it puts us to sleep sooner and then we still get our seven to eight hours and we're up hitting it hard. Yeah. Edit this out. Oh yeah. Amazon package. Hey Hello. sir. Is Thank you very much. <laughs> Aim, Appreciate it. Aim still zero zero. Yeah. Oh man, crazy. Bottom of the thirteen. Man. Two up. One on. Crazy. Oh wow. Yeah. This is a new package. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Uh -huh. Yep, they're barking now. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys are interested in trying the Inspired Gummies, uh, it's the Sour Bear Gummies, the Delta 8 ones. They have like other um, like candies, uh, like the, they're like the rings, like the Fuzzy Peach, uh, not Fuzzy Peach, it's uh, like, do you know what they are? They're like red and green. They're, they kind of look like a Fuzzy Peach, but they're not, they're like rings. Um, and then there's like little like square gummies too you you want to make sure you get the delta eight ones and then when you go on the website it asks for your date of birth because obviously there's thc right so they want to make sure that you're of age um, but make sure you use my code support me missy and uh yeah if you guys got any questions uh leave them in the comments below or shoot me a dm on instagram anything else babe no i think that's it good questions yeah, great questions, guys. Um, I guess we'll recap the week a little bit here. Oh, okay. I was not planned for this. Oh, yeah. Um, so, prep has been going great. We are officially eight weeks, six days out. Um, I'm starting to check in daily now with Shelby. So, things are getting serious. Um, energy levels is, you know, it's... Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you're, I, you're fading a little. I'm fading. Yeah, guys, I'm fading. But you know what? I, I'm so pumped that I like prepared myself 
this far out. Like we're in a really good spot. Yeah. I've never had like veins through my quads and my VMOs like until two weeks before a show. Um, and now we're like starting to see them. So, I mean, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. Normally you're like, you know, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Go, 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 go. And then, you know, we basically meet up at the couch at 7 and crash. Um, you know, now you're to that point where you almost have to conserve energy yeah. for the gym. Conserve yep. energy for that errand. Yeah. You know, conserve energy till that next meal. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just part of the diet life. So, the other big thing is, you know, I, I'm super blessed to work with all of these amazing clients I have. Um, we've got a bunch of girls in competition prep right now. So it's, it kind of, it makes me slow my day down where I'm like, okay, I have people checking in. So I'm gonna take my computer and just sit on the couch, force myself to sit there for like an hour and do all my computer work. It's actually a good thing because yeah. I'm not up like, oh, let me walk around the grocery store or let me go and work a nine to five, you know, I can. Yeah. I come home from work and you're like taking down the fence and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's a true story. Yeah, I'm a busy body. Yeah, you are. So it is. It's like the diet slows you down. I was literally like on the fence, like bzz, bzz, with yeah. the screwdriver taking yeah. the. Yeah. Taking the fence off, yeah. Like, okay, didn't know we needed this done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, all in all, it's been like a really, really good week. We're just cruising, guys. We're cruising now. Um, we got the uh, rental car situated for uh, driving down to Olympia. So that'll be good. We're going to leave like a week early. Uh, we got our dog sitter all planned out for the weenies. We got where we're staying. We got hair, makeup, drive down, everything. Yeah. Everything lined up. And we're like eight, oh, more than eight weeks out. Yeah. The we're biggest. Getting, we're getting good at this shit. Yeah. The biggest yeah. thing, guys, whatever you can be in control of, yeah. take control of it. You know, then you leave no, um, you, you don't leave anything in the hands of someone else. Like, oh, I didn't get it done because of this person or I couldn't do it because of so-and-so. It's like, no, it's all on me. Yep. So. And you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're getting good at this stuff. Like, yeah. You know, all these things are checked off. Yeah. We got, you know, more than a couple of months. Yeah. Because time flies, right? It's going to be here like tomorrow. Right. But still, when your diet starts getting really hard, you don't have all these other things. Right. You know, to worry about. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Cruising along. Yep. All right, guys. Um, good week. Off to another one. Yep. If you guys... You don't want to leave us any questions for the next video we would appreciate it yeah i really enjoy these little segments where we can sit outside i don't know if you guys can see the smoke but we're getting a lot of uh smoke from like i think california and like Northern. wildfires in yeah. california yeah yeah so it's blowing it's almost up every year thing now yeah it's crazy yeah world's changing it really is it's really crazy but yeah we it's smoky uh, so bad you could actually see the smoke in the air. Yeah. Normally Seattle, I mean, we have amazing weather, or, uh, you know, with all the trees and right on the water. Normally we have amazing air. Mm -hmm. For like a big city, Seattle's got like the cleanest air. Uh, now we got California's wildfire smoke we're all breathing in. Yeah. yeah it's tough. Brutal. It's tough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll leave it there, guys. Appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll leave it uh, if you want to get lip injections. <laughs> Get your lip injections. Who you cares? You need to be sponsored. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Hello. Missy Tim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Later. <laughs>